today is sentence day and I am excited to show you how Latin works and diagramming our sentences will make it easier for us to understand. So I'm going to fly in the standard diagramming chart that I showed you last week and we're going to label it once again, nominative subject, verb, which is your action, and accusative, which is your direct object. But today we are going to focus on the nominative noun. What does nominative mean? Do you remember? Nominative subject. Well, we're talking about first declension nouns. The nominative, which is our subject, will end in what? What ending will it have? The A ending. That is what it will have. So anything in the first declension that is the subject of the sentence will end in A. Now, what is the subject? The subject is who or what the sentence is about. That is very important. Without a subject, we do not have a sentence. So it's the number one thing we need to know. Subject is who or what the sentence is about. Now, I'm going to fly in our sentence. Filia, gloriam, debt. And you might say, Alexis, I know what the nominative is already. Okay, calm down because when we're translating, it's important to do it in order. The number one rule of verbs is, or sentences, is that the verb is found at the end of the sentence. And we actually want to look for that first and diagram the verb first. It's important, okay? So, filia gloriam dat. Dat is the verb. Dat is going to go on the line first in the verb location. What does dat mean? That means he, she, or it gives in the third person singular. Singular is the key. Remember rule number two? Our verbs and our nouns have to match in number. That means if the verb is singular, the noun has to be singular. Well, if this was a really long sentence, I could look for a nominative noun that was singular and know that was the beginning of our sentence, okay? So let's fly to the beginning of this sentence, philia, and look at that ending. Is it nominative? Yes. Is it singular? Yes. Does it match the verb and number? Yes. So it gets to go on the line. Yay! All right, so philia is our subject, our nominative subject. Dat is our verb. In this sentence, we only have one word left. Gloriam, and we're going to fly that into the accusative, and we'll learn about what accusatives are later on. But today we are going to just look at philia, glory, uh, dat, gloriam. That sentence means the daughter gives the glory, or just glory. The daughter gives the glory, or the daughter gives glory. Now, why did I say the or no the? Either way, because Rule number three in Latin sentences are there are no article adjectives. An article adjective is from English, a, an, or the, and you just add them when you translate. If you drop it off, it doesn't matter because it doesn't have to be in the Latin sentence. All right, so now you're going to go to your homework pages. You're going to fill in the nominative on your diagramming chart and copy that Latin sentence.